So here we are at Bow Summit Study Plot. It's February 9th, Monday. And we're just doing our bi-weekly profile. Or not bi-weekly, bi-monthly. And uh, here we have a, a height of snow of 83. And we have a little bit of new snow. A um, little bit of snow from previous. But this is the surface horror here. And it's still size... Uh, 20 on the crystal screen, so still a significant layer, but uh, not that deeply buried here to be a huge issue at this particular location. Uh, then we have uh, sort of this uh, stiffer, a little bit stiffer layer of snow. It's about, uh, uh, goes up to about one finger minus here in the lower bit, and that's from January, the early January storm. And down from the mid-pack, essentially, from 50 centimeters down, it's uh, considerably weaker, and that's what we've been referring to as the December facet layer. And it's just this uh, lower part of the snowpack. Larger crystal, about four finger, four finger minus uh, resistance. Down at the very bottom, the November crust was in here, but it's really not a main feature of this profile. The crystals do change a little bit, so I have... Uh, highlighted that in this profile. And then at the very bottom, it's a bit stiffer right at the ground. But I think uh, the main layers here that we'll see uh, shears on are going to be the surface hoar. They'll probably pop off easier. Certainly where you have more load on this layer, it's a bigger issue. And then probably a general collapse in the facet layer. So I've uh, set up a compression test and I'll just uh, show you guys uh, what we're seeing. So now. we're set up to do a compression test and let's see what we get. So compression test moderate one on the surface hoar. Slide that off. We got. It's gonna break apart. It feels like. Let's pull the crystal screen here. Yeah, it's mostly on the underside of the block, and there are just some huge feathers here. Whoop! That's like size 20. I just pulled out, and they're all still standing tall like this layer is about a centimeter in thickness so it'll be a concern for a while especially once it gets buried more Let's see if we get anything lower down okay so that was moderate one Uh, so that'd be 24 hard compression test. Well, it looks like a couple places. Oh, not just right there. So it looks like it's... Oh. What we've been seeing with those warm temperatures is that December facet layer has been sort of bonding a little bit into the... Um, overlying storm snow from January. And so what I saw in this uh, failure, it's actually down into the facet a little ways where we actually got the collapse where it's, where the facets are quite a bit weaker. And then it's just sugar down below here. So I'm gonna line up to do another test and see what we get. Okay, so here's a second compression test. Seven. Easy seven on the surface tour. Uh, looks like the surface horse sticking to the underside of the block, all the big feathers in here. Well, well preserved so far. Seven. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 20. Kind of a similar thing, breaking down in that facet layer, just where it gets weaker underneath the January storm. I don't think we're gonna, we're just gonna get a general collapse in the sugar. Yeah. All right. So what does that mean? That means we're still concerned about this surface hoar layer, particularly where uh, you have more load, maybe west of the divide, features that have been a bit uh, wind pressed in the open terrain, and still concerned about this uh, lower weakness here, which we're finding, uh, you know, even into the alpine where this mid pack layer is just bone hard from all the wind and it's sitting on this hollow, sugary, it's very, need a broom to dig this pit. It's very sugary, weak. So uh, those are things still to watch out for.